What's up, guys? John? Yeah. <laughs> How you figured. Doing, <laughs> hey, listen, fantastic main event. I mean, I think outside of the, the pay-per-views, this is the main event people were looking forward to the most. And you said earlier this week it's a number one contender fight, right? So yeah. what is it about this fight that, that you like so much? I mean, it got rescheduled. Tell, tell us what you like about it. Listen, we've had an incredible run through COVID. Uh, Florida, Fight Island 1, Fight Island 2, um, it's been an awesome run for us. And, and listen, I know a lot of you guys are, are as big a fight fans as I am and, and, and love everything about being around this. Getting the zombie and, and uh, Ortega together finally, I mean, th both of these guys are, uh, you know, world-class fighters in, in their prime, in the top five, and, and, and looking for a title shot. So. Um, stylistically, this is a fun fight. We're ending our five-week stint here uh, with two badass fights back to back. And I was saying this to Ioli earlier this week, or Akimoto, one of those guys. I had so much fun last weekend at the fight. That fight card last weekend was was so much fun. Um, you know, I, I just I'm excited. I'm fired up for these fights. I, before I came out here, I just watched the cold open for. Um, um, Gaethje versus Habib. It's so fucking awesome. I just, I can't wait for these next two fights. I'm excited and, uh, you know, stylistically, this should be a, a fun one too. Brian surprises with his hair. Did you get a chance to talk to him? It turns out he's donating it to charity, but we didn't know if, if that was, was planned ahead of time or like he needed it to make way. Do you know I didn't know? know. Yeah, I didn't know either. Uh, Lene told me that he shaved his head and, uh, yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. But so good for him. The winner would obviously be lined up for Alexander Volkanovsky. Um, <clears throat> do you know if he can fight in the United States or not, or would we have to wait for that title fight to, yeah. to come back here next year? I don't know anything. You know, when you guys asked me questions now, if this was last year, I could have told you everything. But I don't know anything anymore. We'll, we'll see how this thing plays out. And obviously, when we all leave Fight Island and go home, we're literally days away from the election. And uh, I, I truly believe that the election is going to have a huge impact on all the bullshit that we've been dealing with for the last however many months. And uh, I'm hoping a lot of this, this is going to go away after the election. Sounds good. I want to ask you one more about the featherweight division. Zabit, Megamed Sharapov, another guy at the top that's you know, kind of been talked about. Do we have an update on him? He was supposed to fight in August. It didn't happen. Do we know when he's fighting next? Yeah, we're working on something right now for him. He'll get another fight here. Care to tease what it is? Um, I, I honestly don't know off the top of my head. Who? Zaire? Zaire? Yair. Oh, Yair. Yair, put it back together. The fight's in Zaire. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're doing big things. Yeah, Yair. <laughs> I can't hear. <laughs> Uh, listen, for the last couple weeks, man, ever since Israel Adesanya, him and John Jones have been going back and forth nonstop. And now uh, Izzy's camp is talking about they want to move up to light heavyweight. Um, I mean, the idea of this super fight seems crazy. Is it a fight that could happen sometime soon? I mean, are you interested enough to say, yeah, let's put this fight together? Well, you know, uh, we, we got to talk to him. Um, obviously, that, that is a fight that we could definitely make. But I truly think that, that the winner of, of Cannoneer and Whitaker should get the next shot. You know, he, he said he'll fight Cannoneer. I already beat Whitaker. Um, but, but the Whitaker fight, if Whitaker wins, makes a lot of sense, too. Um, but it's a great problem to have. The problem is, is that, you know, the winner of this fight he should actually get absolutely get the shot. But you could you could look at at, at, at the you know Blahovich fight and say, "Ooh, that's fun too." Ooh, John Jones is fun. He's got a lot of options, so it's never a bad thing when you have a lot of options. It'd be it'd be worse if we were sitting here right now and you're like, "Who's next? What do you do with this guy?" You know what I mean? Yeah. Got to ask you about Conor McGregor, of course. He went on Twitter and said, I'm in January 23rd. He mentioned Cowboy Stadium as a possibility, which, you know, who knows. But January 23rd, him and Dustin Poirier, any update on that? Could that be the fight we see if he's he saying said he's yes, saying? and Dustin said yes. So now it's a matter of getting contract signed. So, you know, listen, we, we, we've had a very good relationship with Jones for a long time and, you know, talked about Dallas, Texas Stadium forever. Um, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going into any arena where we're going to fill a quarter of the arena or half of the arena or any of that stuff. So when, when, when crowds are ready to come back, we'll do crowds again. Fair enough. And last one for me, Dan, I wanted to ask you about next week uh, with Michael Chandler. Um, 
What sold you on him? I can't imagine you watched a lot of his fights in Bellator, you know, so to give him that kind of respect to say, hey, yeah, we're bringing you in and we're gonna put you as a backup right away. What was about him that caught your eye say, this guy deserves it? I like people who wanna fight. I'm in the fight business and I make fights every weekend. Every weekend, we've been here for five weeks putting on fights every weekend for five weeks. And before that we were in Vegas doing the Contender Series and all the other fights. That's what we do and I, and I'm, I like people who wanna fight. it. And I always say it all the time. I've been saying it since the beginning of this, and I'll say it again. If you don't want to fight, nobody's, nobody's pushing you to fight. You don't have to fight. Nobody's being forced to fight here in the UFC. So if you don't want to fight, no problem. Step out of the way. There's somebody who does. Hey, Dana. Just going off the back of that, uh, Islam Makachev obviously lost his opponent, uh, Rafael de Sanos. Did you go to Michael Chandler and say, hey, do you want that fight? No, Michael Chandler's here for the, for the other fight. That's, that's what he's here to do. That's what he's focused on. He, he, if anything bad were to happen, he will fight um, Gaethje or Habib. That's it. That's, that's all that kid has to worry about. We'll, we'll get him a fight when this is over, and we're working on a fight for Islam right now, too. Uh, a couple of outside of the thing, uh, the, the current sports thing. M uh, Mike Perry said he was going to auction off a position in his corner recently. I was wondering, is that something the commission has to approve? Are you allowed yeah, to? No, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. And then similarly, uh, John Jones recently confirmed a long-running story that he hid under a cage to avoid the drugs test. Is there a statute of limitations? What happened? John Jones told uh, Israel Adesanya on Twitter that he hid under a cage uh, at the gym to avoid being tested because he thought he was going to pop for marijuana. I was wondering, is there a statute of limitations on the commission being able to go back and say, you avoided a drugs test? They don't test for marijuana. Oh, okay. It's, it's pre yasada I think. Yeah, if, if, if what he was worried about was marijuana, they don't test for marijuana anyway. Well, pre-testing, leading up. If it was within the fight window, you know, he, he'd have been here and he'd have got tested anyway. Maybe he's just... By the athletic happened, commission. So yeah, I don't know anything about that. But, yeah, no, they, they, they don't test for, unless you're in competition, they're not testing for marijuana anyway. Uh, Hamza Chimaev is here on Fight Island. He says that he wants to fight December 19th, but there's no opponent yet. Have you got an update on him? We will. We're, we're working on it. This has been a, he's, been a, he's been a hard guy to get an opponent for, so um, we're all over it. We'll, we'll have something done for him. I was hoping it would be done uh, yesterday or today, but it's not, so we'll get it done. Is that a welterweight or middleweight, or are you just trying to find He anyone? doesn't give a shit. First guy to raise his hand and say he wants to fight him, uh, he, he's in it anyway. Uh, Chris Weidman actually called him out a little bit. Early. I saw that, yeah. Well, Chris My Weidman's one of the guys we were talking to. Just trying to get him in December instead of January to the work. We're trying to get, he wants to fight, you know him. If we can get him a fight in December, he'll fight that and probably fight in January too, so. Um, which will piss everybody off again. Cool. And last thing from me, uh, the ultimate fighter, is that, you were talking about it with Conor and Khabib and then you said that fell apart, is it, do you have a set date for its return or are you still working on when it could be back? We do, have the, is anybody in the room that knows the set date for the ultimate fighter? No, when we're going to start filming. Okay. Yeah, it's when I get home. Oh. And who are the coaches? Not yet, we don't have anybody yet. Okay, thanks Daniel. We'll let this, we'll let this, this, this thing play out and, I mean there's been times where we've, had the coaches days before we were getting ready to film. Thanks, man. Yep. Dan over here. Um, any update on uh, Usman, Burns, uh, Masvidal, or Covington? I know a lot of people expected them to fight. That's all still being worked on, yeah. And then the, the bantamweight title fight between Jan and Sterling was finally announced. Why did it take so long to officially announce it? Were you just waiting to see how Marais looked like looked against Sanhagen? Yeah, we're, no, no. We're just here and, you know. <coughs> This year fucking sucks, and it's you know it's just been a crazy year. You know what I mean? It's just everything. You guys are used to the way things were done, and now it's just a completely different world. So there's, we've been dealing with a lot of everybody's you know on top of everybody losing their mind right now, and it's just been it's been a weird year. You know, it's it's been without a doubt the most challenging year of my entire career, and if you look at where we came from, that's saying a lot. And then Corey Sanhagen obviously uh, got the big win. He wants to fight T.J. Dillashaw. His, he can, he's eligible to fight in January. Is that a fight you would be interested in? Too? No clue. Okay. No clue. I, we're, we're, and, and two, and, well, what are we, we're nine days away or something like that? A week away? I, I don't know what it is. But when we go home, try to figure out the rest of this year, and then we'll, we'll get January, February, and March dialed in, and, and uh, not just, um, you know, who's going to fight, where we're going to go, 
and like I just said to him earlier, hopefully a lot of this nuttiness dies down after the election and we can start looking at venues, who, who knows? I, I just, I don't know the answers to any of these questions yet, you know? Just trying to get through Fight Island.